good morning students today i will revise pronoun chapter 3 last class i told you that in pt1 two chapters will come noun chapter 1 and pronoun chapter 3 last class i revised chapter 1 and today i am revising pronoun chapter 3 what is a pronoun? Pers these are the pronouns, different type of pronoun are words that are used to place of noun. That means in place of noun, pronouns are used. Pronouns agrees with the nouns they replace in number and gender. That means which pronoun will be used that is depend upon the what subject or noun is used in the sentence different uh, kinds of pronouns i told you are earlier and then first one personal pronoun personal pronouns are used in place of names of people and things if the personal pronoun is the doer of the action the subject of the sentence it is called subject pronoun if the pronoun receives the action done by the subject, it is called object pronoun. Like, they liked her very much. Here, they is subject pronoun, her is object pronoun. She gave the book to him, she subject pronoun, him object pronoun. Here is a table which pronouns are used in place of that first person singular number I plural we singular me for object pronoun and plural us second person you both are you okay and third person he see it plural they and object pronoun him her it or them Okay. Now see here exercise A. Fill in the blanks. Dash are good friends from now and now on you and I me and you I and you the you and I ok my mother has made children stew and opums for my friends and me my mother has made chicken stew and opum for me for me my friends and me okay the teacher is very angry with us dash are going to start business soon lena and i are going to start the worker have put in long hours the employers have promised them a holiday next week her dog loves us. This are the winner of musical contest. Mohan and I. And here she and I are going to a trip to Sri Lanka. Now, positive pronouns. Positive pronouns shows ownership. They tell us who and what something belongs. But who is this thing? We bought two hats. The blue one is Mina's and the pink one is mine. Suresh and Rina have cars. The jeep is his and the shaden is hers. 
Look at the possessive pronouns. First person, mine. Plural, ours. Second person, yours. Both are yours. Singular and plural. Third person, his, hers. And plural form is theirs. It's not a possessive pronoun. Do not add apostrophe before is in cars, ours, yours, theirs and hers. So, no need to use apostrophe. Now, reflexive pronoun. Reflexive pronoun are used when we want to refer back to the subject of the sentence. In some cases, they can act as the object of the sentence if the subject and the object are the same. Like, I looked at myself in the mirror. Please help yourself. There is plenty of ice cream. The students solved the problems themselves. Now, emphatic pronouns that is, it emphasize like I used to emphasize the action of the subject. They have the same form as reflexive pronouns. If the gender is an animal is known, usually she or he is used instead of it. Okay. As we know, we use it for the animals, but if we know the gender, then we can use she or he. We often use positive pronouns after the preposition of, like Rehan is one of my favorite cousin. Rehan is a favorite cousin of mine. Here examples. I myself agreed to organize the picnic. That means here I emphasizing myself, I and myself, the children themselves, joined their parents in helping out their age neighbors. She herself admitted her mistake. Here fill in the blanks. I can only help you so much, you have to do the rest yourself. Tony was ashamed of himself because he had lied to his parents. People who take care of oneself have a better chance of stay healthy. All of you have done a very good job which you should proud of yourselves. Aryan did his homework by himself. Anis Eklem, the tire of my car are punctured. Where shall we do to get itself repaired? Don't you worry, sir. I can do it. it. It's a really easy job for me, replied the watchman. She said, if you are ready, we shall start. I have lost a lot of weight. Look at me, my mother said to me. We, along with our neighbors, had bought two LCD TVs last month from the same shop. My neighbor said that theirs is working fine, but ours often has problem. Okay, up to here it is clear. Now, interrogative. Interrogative, you know, the word used for asking question. Interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions. The five interrogative pronouns are who, what, which, whom, and whose. For example, who went to pick up grandpa? What are you searching for? Which of these books are you going to buy? Whom do you want to meet? 
whose is this car here few questions are here to fill in the blanks like who will come with me to the market whose books are these which of this shirt do you like who will pay the bill what do you want whose is this purse what is the matter with you which is the road to the metro station here number 10 we along with our neighbors had bought two lcd tvs last month from the same shop my neighbors says that theirs is working fine but ours often has problem now relative pronoun relative pronouns are used to refer to noun mentioned earlier in the sentence they also help us join two sentences the relative pronoun are who whom whose that and which that means this word are used to join two sentences look here who whose and whom used for people and example the passenger who sat next to the old lady helped her unbuckle the seat belt the man whose house you are buying is my neighbor the guest whom you met at the party are from malaysia next which for animal and things the snake which bit the boy has been caught the car which they bought is expensive and that that is used for both people and thing like the people that i met on the way were very friendly the problem that you are talking about can be easily solved here few things you have to notice we also use what as the relative pronoun in the sense of that which or the thing which what word we can use for that which or the thing which like what you want cannot be given to you that which you got what you deserve that thing which here both what are used for that which or the thing which for whose is used for a relative pronoun for the inanimate object to like the bottle cap the bottle whose cap is broken is leaking the house whose roof is broken was abandoned several years the blanket whose edge are embroidered with lace belongs to me here it is animate uh, not in animated that is the object we often incorrectly use who in the place of whom remember that who function as a subject and whom function as an object like doctors who care for their patient are respected the relative pronoun is subject so we use who but patient want doctors whom they can trust the relative pronoun and object so we use whom now exercise C, uh, d fill in the blanks with suitable relative pronoun the director who made this film 
passed away two years ago. She won the final of the tough competition that no one had expected her to. Tell me who your friends are and I will tell you what kind of a person you are. The swimmer who won the gold medal trained for many years. The sweater which I bought yesterday sank after a wash. Name of the 11 players which made it to the national team will be announced tomorrow. Roti, what we eat for dinner is part of our staple diet. Where did you buy the earrings which you gave Minu? Salman Rushdie's latest book which was published last year was an instant bestseller. The tea shop which we used to visit often has closed down suddenly. Okay? You are not following the class? I told in the beginning that your last class also I told that two chapters will come in PT1. Chapter 1 noun and chapter 3 pronoun. You are not noticing? The same question several times. Last class I also told. And you see in your syllabus it is given in your class, class group. See, open the uh, syllabus and see. Now, this, this will not come in the exam, this exam, because all questions will be objective. So, it will be omitted for this time. It may come in half yearly or midterm. Okay. Now, distributive pronouns. Distributive pronouns are used to talk about people and things as individual members of a pair or a group. A distributive pronoun is always singular and is therefore followed by a singular verb. A distributive pronoun is always singular and therefore followed by a singular verb. Like this type of each, either, neither, these are distributive pronouns. Each is used for denote every one of a number of the persons or things taken singly. We use either or neither to refer the individuals in a pair. When used as the distributive pronoun, each, either and neither are followed by plural nouns and singular verbs. Note that when they are used as distributive pronouns, they are used by themselves without a noun after them. See here, examples. Of the 10 students shortlist, each received an Award. Each means everyone, every single student. There are plural subjects. Ten students, the subject is plural. But here the verb is singular because here each, it is talking about the single student. Two buses stop near my house. Either can take you to, to the railway station, but neither goes to airport. That means That means there are two buses. Subjects are two, but either. That means anyone is going to railway station and anyone you can take, but neither goes to airport. But 
not any one single one is going to be of vote either of the books of a good choice for a gift that means maybe two books are there you can select either any one neither of the two speakers was knowledgeable about the subject that means no one here two persons were their speaker but no one is was knowledgeable for about the subject so it is used was okay now indefinite pronouns indefinite pronouns are used to talk about people or things in general they do not refer to specific things see the words anyone anybody anything everyone everybody everything someone somebody something one all some few many none no one nobody nothing so these words are used as indefinite pronouns that means we don't know how many are there what are, so it is used anyone can apply for the course there are so many people but anyone can apply anything can happen we don't know what happened but anything can happen something is wrong no one knows what happened nothing is more important than peace of mind now here fill in the blanks okay see here note down carefully we were all so tired that nobody wanted to have dinner both nobody anyone acha somebody is at the door go and open it i cannot buy either of this shirt both are costly either means anyone please make these changes right away these changes right away those of you who have finished the work may leave do you see the boy sitting in the last room that is the student who we met at the science fair okay the plot of the book which i took from you is first page the dentist who pulled out my tooth was an expert who which that those these either now the boy whose pen you borrowed has left the exams hall whose whom you uh, whom are you angry with whom what are you thinking about that is what of these two sizes which one fits which one fits you better which don't blame me you did it yourself neither of them is interested in going for the picnic neither are you still writing the essay 
I finished mine long ago. The book that you had ordered has arrived. The man who met with the accident has been taken to hospital. The woman whose purse was stolen is arguing with the police officer. Okay? Now listen, the chapter 2, chapter 3, that means two chapters are completed. I am telling you again, the question will be, Objective type like fill in the blanks, one word or correction mistake, correct the mistakes like that. So don't worry, you will get the sample question paper for practice and then your exam will start from 17th July. Beforehand, you will get the timetable of PT1. Okay, I think you are learning properly at home. So, study at home properly. Thank you for joining the class.